my camera lens, I have to uh, clean that off. Good morning and welcome to my uh, favourite place, the train station. Um, it's been a while since I've actually, you know, been out of the house, fully dressed with makeup on. Um, been a while, but I'm doing it today because I'm going to meet my best friend who I haven't seen uh, in about six weeks. So, and she, um, she, we used to live in the same town, but she moved away about three months ago, three months, three years ago, before. So, we are, um, I don't know why I'm doing that. So we're meeting up today for a catch up, which would be really nice. But normally she comes to me because I'm useless and can't drive, but today I'm going to her. So that'd be really nice. So I thought I'd take you along with me. Although I haven't asked her yet, so it might just be this bit. with Jade now. You have met Jade before um, at the Killers when she was being especially weird. Um, <laughs> she, she's aware of it. <laughs> We're in home since now and I'm trying to be like low-key about the vlogging because there are lots of people in here but it's not really working but I jumped on because I wanted to show you these um, fairly hideous Christmas decorations. Not that, that's actually pretty cool. I know, I like this one. Genuinely, please ignore my turkey OCD hands but what the fuck is that? That's like a poke bowl. That's a sushi Christmas decoration. It's hideous. I, I kind of love it. It is hideous. Also soy sauce apparently. <laughs> There's literally <laughs> There's a fortune cookie one with a very threatening Christmas message and also dumplings. They're really leaning into the uh, Chinese, Japanese, Asian food market. How sassy is this reindeer though? She is working it. <laughs> I was literally just saying that I want a stocking this year and then we've seen this one and I like I really want it. Look how cool he is. He's like a little turtle dinosaur thing. This angel is straight up terrifying. It's the worst thing I think I've ever seen. Oh my god look at that fish. I think I need it. It's Big Bang Theory Cluedo and I genuinely don't know why this is a thing. We're back in the car now which is why you are really zoomed in on my giant face. Um, we've just uh, we spent so long in home sense we were looking at all the Christmas decorations for a very long time it was great um, and then we've just been to Tesco to buy some lunch and I bought it's okay to feel blue and other lies um, which is the newest book from Scarlett Curtis which obviously because I can't go anywhere without buying a book we are heading back to Jade's now where I might suggest that we watch Hocus Pocus because we watch that every year and we haven't this year <laughs> We're in Jade's amazing house now, and uh, oh, I was gonna show you Henry, but he's um, he's having a clean. <laughs> he's the most beautiful dog, he's a schnauzer, and he's lovely. And we're just about to eat our lunch and watch Hocus Pocus, so, woo! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is Henry, and he is a beautiful, beautiful boy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. So we're watching Hocus Pocus and obviously it's amazing but I have some questions and it's really starting to piss me off. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not the only one that feels this way but I am a nightmare to watch a film with. For one thing, we're still watching it and I've started vlogging. Total nightmare. Why did they open the book though? Good morning. So I was actually a terrible vlogger yesterday and I didn't finish the vlog. Basically, me and Jade watched Hocus Pocus. It is the best film ever, although I did have some questions like, uh, why did they just turn up at the school? There was like no reason for them to be there. They just were suddenly there. And also, ah, oh, just so many questions. Like, so many questions. Um, but obviously, it's one of the best films ever made. Don't at me, it's just true. Um, anyway, so I thought to sort of round the vlog out nicely, um, we went shopping yesterday, I didn't do a lot of shopping, I just bought a couple of like little bits but I thought I would show you them, but first, I am going to have some pretty Instagram porridge, so I will do that first and then I will be back to show you my purchases. I think there's like five things and none of them are a big deal, but you know wanted to finish the vlog. Me and Jade just ended up watching Queer Eye um, and getting distracted and talking. It was mostly me talking. I am a talker. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so give me 10 minutes. I will show you the porridge and then we will talk about my purchases. I'm actually thrilled with it. It looks so pretty. I have strawberries. I have raspberries. I have, is it lotus spread? The Biscoff spread? And I have creamy porridge. I hope it tastes as good as it looks because it looks banging. So, 
Um, I've had my porridge now. It was rather lovely. Um, not really a fan of porridge usually, but it was really nice. Anyway, so not the point. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six things to talk about. And I will start with the book because obviously I bought a book and I bought It's Not Okay to Feel Blue and Other Lies which is the latest collection of essays from Scarlett Curtis. Um, I haven't read it yet, I actually know very little about it other than it's a follow up to Feminists Don't Wear Pink and Other Lies which I read earlier this year and absolutely loved. But there are some amazing people that have contributed. So there's Adam Kay, there's Bryony Gordon, there's Ben Platt who is in Pitch Perfect, there is Charlie Cox, Dawn o Porter, Elizabeth Day, Amelia Clark, Emma Thompson. I'm basically just reading everyone off the back of this. like. Porna Bell, Naomi Campbell is in it, Jesus, Simon Amstel, so um, basically I think it's essentially just trying to um, break down the stigma of depression and mental health issues and uh, I'm very much looking forward to reading it so I had to get it. I've actually wanted this since it came out, um, nearly bought it in Asda a couple of days ago but there was a big score line down the one I picked up and all the others. I have to have like books that are in good condition and uh, this one was so I bought it so um we actually went to a few places we ended up going to Milton Keynes to go shopping we didn't go to the mall we just went to sort of like a retail park and um we went to Boots and we went to the big M&S and we went to Home Sense, which was amazing and very Christmassy and then we went to Tesco so we did um sort of like pick a few things up here and there I didn't like I said I didn't get anything major but in Boots I picked up the L'Oreal Paris LV uh, Dream Lengths Frizz Killer Serum. Now this has just come out um, and it was £4. I think normally it would be 8 which I think is actually very expensive for a serum. I know L'Oreal tends to be. I um, I use their serums a lot. The Extraordinary Oil is um, a firm favourite and I also got the Sun Protection one as well. But again they are expensive but they are good. I haven't tried this yet as I said it's just come out but as you will know if you've watched any of my previous videos naturally my hair is very curly and uh, curly hair tends to frizz. Uh, it's also very dry and um, yeah it just frizz is a big issue for me so I thought I would give this a go. It says it smooths and tames and offers up to 230 degree heat protection. So yeah, if it's anything like the other serums I've tried from this, it'd be really good. They tend to be quite lightweight and non-greasy and fast absorbing, so hopefully this will be more of the same. While on the subject of hair, I also picked up another bottle of the Colab Dry Shampoo in the Unicorn Fragrance. This is my all-time favourite dry shampoo. Um, when I straighten my hair, which I have at the moment, I am I'm very lazy between hair washes. I will, when normally I'll wash my hair every three days. With straight hair, it's every four because I'm lazy. So I depend on this stuff so I don't walk around looking like a mad greasy mess. It's just amazing. It's really lightweight. It doesn't give you um, like a white cast to the hair. It just, just absorbs grease. It smells amazing. This is my favourite scent. I have used the other ones, but the unicorn one is my favourite and um, just adds a bit of oomph back to your hair. It breathes sort of life back to your hair when it's a bit lank and gross and I'm just a really, really big fan. So I swear by this stuff. This one in particular, I've said, is my favorite. So I bought another bottle of that. Uh, the next thing and the second to last thing I picked up whilst I was shopping, I have one more thing I want to talk about, but that was online, um, is the La Roche-Posay Chicoplast Lever. It's the Barrier Repairing Lip Balm. I'm really sorry for my terrible French accent there. Um, I've been really struggling with dry lips lately. I, I don't know why because I exfoliate them quite a lot. I don't over exfoliate um, but I exfoliate them like sort of every couple of days and I use a lush one which is very hydrating anyway. And I've been using the Carmex lip balm and that is really really good but I wanted to give this a try because I know how much I love the um, Chica Plus Repairing Balm it is one of my all-time favourites. It is a Desert Island skincare product. So I thought I would give the um, lip balm a go, see if it would help a bit more. And then I picked up the Rimmel Lasting Finish 1000 Kisses Stay On Lip Contouring Pencil in the shade Black Tulip. This is my favourite lip liner ever. I had, um, I had one last year that Audrey chewed up and I have actually been looking for it since and it's kind of been a combination of I'll either forget that I want it because it's not a colour you would wear in the summertime or they haven't had it but they had they had it in boots so I bought two I absolutely love it it's just a really nice um 
really nice lip liner. It's the perfect colour for um, Kat Von D's Nasferatu. It's like that deep wine colour. And um, it just, it gives excellent definition. It helps uh, lipstick stick around longer. It also doesn't fade. It just lasts a really long time. It's not, some I can, lip liners especially cheaper ones tend to be a bit soft so they kind of encourage sort of uh what's the word transferring this doesn't it's really good it's not powdery but it's dry enough that it sticks around and gives you, uh, your lipstick something to grip onto so i really like this i like it so much i bought two and uh, last but not least is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Now, like I said, I didn't buy this while I was out. I actually bought this online and I actually bought two. I've just dropped it. Never mind, they look exactly the same. So, uh, Fleur de Force was, uh, did a collaboration with Elemis for this, where it was like these um, luxury, I have to pick it up, it's annoying me. These luxury uh, sample sizes, they're 20 grams each, uh, were on offer with Elemis for a fiver. And because it is my all time favorite cleansing balm, I'm using the rose one at the moment and I absolutely adore it. Um, I thought I should get two because then I've got them for traveling or if I run out, I've got an in between while I wait for a new one. Uh, absolutely love them they smell beautiful they take all of your makeup off without any bother and they're really nourishing as well and all of the scent comes from natural ingredients it's not fragranced at all so I absolutely love these so I had to buy two because they are kind of the perfect size for traveling and I've had this size before a few times and they last a really long time even if you're not traveling and use them in place of sort of a regular sized cleanser if I was just using this every day it still lasts a really long time so I had to get one of those I just absolutely love it I do prefer this scent to the rose I think but um even though I love the rose balm I just think this is more fresh and there's like a honey sort of dewiness to it I just love this I love it so much so yeah I bought two and they came with the flannels which or the face cloths I should say and these are really nice as well they um are textured they have a, not a rough surface but a textured surface which really exfoliates the skin gets rid of the dead stuff so again very pleased with this purchase um yeah so I hope you liked this uh, vlog slash mini haul video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm really disappointed that HomeSense didn't have any Christmas decorations I wanted. I feel like um, a Christmas decoration haul would have been really fun, but no, I was not. I was not drawn to the uh, the sushi decorations at all. I actually quite liked the idea, just not the execution. Anyway, um, yeah, sorry I didn't vlog as much when I was with Jade. Uh, she is my best friend and I haven't seen her in a while, but uh, so we just kind of got sidetracked with our friendship. <laughs> um, but her house is amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. So uh, next time I'm there, I'll see if she'll let me show you a bit of it. It's so gorgeous. She should be an interior designer and I'm not exaggerating there. Anyway, uh, like I said, hope you liked this video. I'm going to go now because the lighting is getting really intense. You can only sort of see the bottom half of my face. Um, but please like, subscribe, ring that bell. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.